Greetings, JC here, and welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn. Yay! I'm now apparently recording on a PS4. Yay me! So, as you can see from there, it does actually say continue. Now, I played this when it first came out, and then I stopped playing it, and we're going to continue from where I stopped playing. Which means I now have to try and give you an overview of what's happened so far off the top of my memory from at least a year ago. So good luck trying to keep up with this. Now, for a better understanding of what's happened so far, to combine with the information I'm about to give you, go have a look at the Mighty Jingles' playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Because he actually goes from the beginning to the first few episodes. At least the first episode will cover the, the core origin stuff. So, hey, there you go if you need to see it. Uh, there is a link somewhere on the main page of mine to The Mighty Jingles. Or you just type in, in search, The Mighty Jingles. There you go. So, what has happened so far in a very brief and general thing while we're still on the main menu? The main character, Aloy, was born parentless, we assume, given he just dumped into the game and said, yep, no, you got no parents. you got a guardian, Rost. So he looks after you. And as a child, you fall down a hole into an ancient facility. While on your way to trying to escape, you come across a small device called a focus. Demonstrate that when we get in the game. But you escape this focus and you, you learn how to use said thing, said device. Time skips until She's coming of age? Sort of like a montage of her growing up. Very sure. And so, kind of gets to the point where she ends up doing her the coming of age ceremony, event. And by getting first place in this event, she can actually become a full member of the tribe. That I mentioned before, he'd basically been exiled from the tribe he's a part of because no parents and due to the way in which she was found. So, goes and does the coming of age event thing and gets first place. Way, she's part of the tribe again. Only pretty much everybody at this event gets blasted. In come these bunch of no nobodies. You don't know who they are. They just come in and basically face wreck everyone. You only survive because Rost turns up and chucks you off a cliff. Now, to put this into context, chucking you off a cliff was better than what was about to happen because the entire place was rigged to blow up. And it blows up. So, Rost goes up in a very pretty fireball as Aloy hurtles off a cliff. Moments later, you switch to the inside of the Nora facility, which is the tribe name, She's a member of the Nora tribe now. She's inside their sacred most facility, the rooms. Turns out to be the entranceway to an ancient bunker. That's kind of explained. So, you wake up, you actually manage to survive falling off a frigging cliff because plot. So, you wake up. You're basically given 
special authority to come and go from their land as you please because normally they're not allowed to leave the land and if you left their sort of tiny little bit of land you become an exile and you can't come back she gets this sort of special discompensation to be able to come and go as she pleases great he is then goes in to try and ha access the facility it does a bioprint scan links her to an entry under the name of Elizabeth Sobeck but the uh, the registry on this particular facility is corrupted and can't find a correct match because it basically just has a hissy fit so with the facility denying her and they basically view this this door and this facility as their god in essence sort of thing it's like right we will send you out so you can prove that you are worthy of being recognized by the old mother i think they call it which is basically just the voice of the big door muppets but you've been sent out you, you wander out a little bit but your first objective is you might want to catch up to the war party they sent out after the lot that attacked you. You find what's left of the war party after it got its face wrecked by bots. Yep, robots. Nasty, horrible things. So they got their faces wrecked. So you meet up with the war chief and a few other people. You go through a bunch of quests and you eliminate the local threat and that basically leads up to them turning around to Aloy and saying yep yeah, well you can leave this area so head to Meridian the nearest capital city owned and run by another tribe try and find out where the raiding party really came from and bring them to justice. That's pretty much about as far as I've gotten. None of the actual really important story plot has actually been revealed yet. Still, story-wise, early on. As you would have seen from the previous series, I uh, suffer from an epic case of Ooh Shiny and went and did virtually everything else. So when we get in, you'll see a large chunk of map that was available to me has been explored. So yeah. So uh, there will be a tiny cut because the loading can be quite hard on this because mine, my PS4 is an original PS4. It is not a pro. It is not all bells and whistles or super fast. This will take a while, so there'll be a jump cut to when we're in the game. And I can show you generally how far I've gotten. So, back in a moment. Right, here we are! And a crackling fire at my personal bot mount. Which I've been very lucky to obtain as soon as I got the ability to do it. And have kept the same one throughout all my travels. I shall name him Dave. Hello, Dave. I call you Al. Um, yeah, Al. Never mind. No, we're not going to. We're not going to run that joke. So, when this critter finally dies for some inevitably stupid and arsenine reason, at least I get to do something like no, Dave. Oh, I'll just find another one. So, here we are. I'll zoom out. Oh, look at it! Oh, I haven't gone in here. There are some areas I haven't gotten to because that's like level 20 odd. Yeah. Some of these I, I haven't gotten close to because they are like death incarnate. Yeah, I, I kind of slipped through here. 
get a campfire and a vantage point. So I haven't fully uncovered the map, but most of it down in here, this chunk, I have. Apparently I haven't got that. Bonfire? There we go, bonfire. I know what those are, but I haven't got the bonfire. Because, you know, reasons. Oh yeah, there's Rost's grave apparently as well. Others watch. You know, yeah, you, you started here. That's the I think that's the original ruins you fell in. I have to investigate that at a later day. Later point. There's another ruins. Oh no, bunker. There's a bunker as well. We explored that one too. Hmm. That might be the power armor facility, actually. Spoiler. As a side art thing, there's some power armor in this game. It's shiny. I remember whether I think that is the power armor bunker. Which is funky. But yes, we're just generally scanning around. I haven't encountered everything, but there are chunks and there is still all of this left to go hence why you can see that i really really haven't done much of the game so that's just some random inventory yes i have got a lot of just general stuff and here's my skills i am level 19 mind you And mostly for um, interesting things like this, because I wanted to be able to swap out and jump and change. I mean, mount call plus, kind of handy, because it calls a new overridden mount straight off the bat. If no mount's available, poof, it just calls me a new one, instead of having to go and find and grab one. Kind of handy. Hold on. Yeah, there's a. There's the forager line. Uh, I haven't done much in the brave line because that's all to do with close combat. No, it isn't. That's the prowler line's close combat line. Actually, strong strikes and stuff like that. I mean, I've done kind of stuff that allows you to do sneaky stuff. I only did that one so that I could get more concentration. And arrow trick shots and stuff like that. Mostly, as you can see, I am focusing more on bow work than anything else. The last thing we got. That's my active. That's my main quest. Ah, see? There we are. Here we are, we can do, do a quick overview. If from the past, trapped underground, Aloy searches for a way out and makes a discovery that will forever change her life. The little thingy I was telling you about, focus. Lessons of the wild. Today, Aloy will learn how to hunt machines and survive in the wild. But what she most wants to know, Rost can't teach her. That's cannot. But, uh, yeah. The point of the spear. For years, Aloy has trained to win the proving. Now, with the ritual just two days away, she must pass a final test of her skills and learn a final lesson. Dom, dom, dom. Mother's heart. An outcast since birth, Aloy has never been allowed inside the walls of the Nora capital until tonight's annual festival on the eve of the proving. Ta -da and then the proving. There's the day. Aloy will win the proving. 
compel the high matriarchs to reveal the secret of her birth or die trying. Ah, that's what she was really after, was some information. Side bonus. It's allowed into the tribe. Womb of the mountain. A bit rocky, but fine. Aelite seeks to understand why the killers at the Proving targeted her and discovers that her origins are more mysterious than she ever imagined. Well, yeah, that would be, um, do with the fact that the mountain and the door kind of recognized her, but didn't recognize her because a corrupted entry file. The database was a bit broken, so you need to find a brand new database somewhere. Seek her at the gates. To unravel the conspiracy against her, Aloy must leave the sacred land of the Nora tribe. But an infestation of corrupted machines stands in her way, so they got face wrecked. The War Chief's Trail. Sona, the War Chief of the Nora, went missing after an, am after an ambush killed dozens of braves. Val wants Aloy to find her. And then, the one I've just completed more recently, Revenge of the Nora. Aloy, Sona, Val have discovered that the killers from the Proving have a base in Devil's Grief. It's time to wipe them out. Uh, that was dumb. And then, here's the last one. Uh, I'm going to wait for the phone to finish ringing. Right, I can carry out now. The City of the Sun. Aloy journeys to Meridian. Search of Olin. I think that's the correct pronunciation of it. The Osorum Scrounger. She met the night before the proving. Somehow, the killers targeted her through Olin's focus. A, mis a mystery can only solve by finding him and making him talk. Go to Meridian. That's the main quest. That basically brings you up to speed on what I've done. Next to nothing, this quest is meant for a level 12. I am 19. So, yeah. Side quest. All right, daughter's vengeance. Yep, yeah, this is one of the side quests that I've been, been following. Gan, a young Nora, is worried about her sister, unpronounceable, who left the sacred lands to find their father's killer. All right. Errands completed. Bandit camps completed. All next. One completed. Hunting grounds. Oh. Cauldrons. One completed. Corrupted zones. Four completed. And I have never bothered with the tutorials. Oh, yeah, there you go. The ancient armory. Visible, but out of reach. And yes, this is a long questline. Restore, restore power to the bunker door. Have to restore power to the thingy inside it. And yes, it's going to... Hence why it's level 25. You have to collect lots of bits from around the place. And then... Then you can do it. So... But hey... This doesn't tell you, you know, a distance. Probably doesn't even have a marker. Dum dum dum. Have a look at the map. That's all the way to actually. That is Meridian. So, if 
actually get a start on this, we're going to do this side quest. Today is much more... Well, that's my aim, but yeah, there's... There's stuff to do in the meantime. Yeah, there was a camp there. I'm all the way down here. Next, this corrupted zone, which is level 20. Which I'll do uh, another time. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, let's go. Ah, shift, mechanical, beastie. It's quite nice because once you get onto a road, it's pretty much autopilot. You can keep going, mind you. Scrappers collecting salvage. Yep, we'll avoid them. It's fine. We appear to have attracted some nasties. I will attempt to follow this track if I outrun. Though apparently not. You're a meanie. Leave me alone. Nobody likes you. I said nobody likes you! Well, I'm about to die. No, 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 no. Oh, hey! This is the nope roll. They're scanning for me. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and you know me talking about Dave? Dave's dead. He's gone. They murdered Dave. I will have my revenge! Yells backwards, running away. Oh, I have medicine, mind you. I am a uh, compulsive collector of stuffs. But no, great, thanks to the game, I now have to hoof it on foot because Dave's gone. Because, yes, I actually no longer have... I can't call my mount. Well, that was typical. Do a quick save. We will continue on. Now I need to find a new mount. This will take forever. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And As you can see, for all the lives he's ruined. Enough, Aloy. Enough exposition. Shush. As you can see from her ear. There's a little metal triangle. That is her focus. Hmm? Well, I ain't going to see Diddly squat in the dark. That's well established. Put me in the dark, and I can't see Diddly squat. But, hey, uh, i got to head down the road. 
So we will explore spend this episode, having spent most of it just catching up to where I am now. And losing Dave. Oh, I, I think you're actually supposed to be able to... Uh, up. There we go. Probably supposed to be able to... Um, slide down that. I jumped. Like that. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, you can catch your breath now. There you go. Panting away to herself. I mean, all I did was make you run down a mountain. That doesn't look good. They're out of range. That... That don't look very good. Don't like the looks of that at all. Shields! Yep. Very handy. Don't like shields. They stop me from killing things. But obviously once I get a shield, that'll be fine. Oh, a new hunting trial. Lovely. Hey. There's some big loud monsters down there. Well, what I should really do is another quest. This should really be all neck I go for, because that will give me. Yes, I want to head for the tall neck. Over in that direction, because that will give me map awareness. That's pretty much one of the first things you should be doing. Though, obviously, not getting obliterated would obviously also be a very good so This episode is Hawking Simulator. Oh look, Merchant. Now... Ooh, they got some shiny. Well, I've already got that one. Apparently, I don't have the Shadow Sharp Shot bow yet. Huh. Ah. There is a war bow. Intriguing. A close range bolt gun. That's no bolt gun. <laughs> um. But it does have uh, freezing ammo, which is kind of a bit handy because I don't actually have freezing. I have fire, and that's about it. Freezing arrow ammo makes it so that you can, like, frost them and then, um,. They'll take more damage from other attacks. How am I supposed to get? And I. He's a big. He's a trampler. Yeah, let's not mess with. Them. Oh yeah, there's fall damage in this game. I forgot. Fall damage is definitely a thing. Pop down the reverse side of you. And somehow figure out. 
Ah, there's, you can just see a road there. At some point in this mist, beyond one of these points, there'll be a branch off. That'll get me close to where I need to be. Ha ha! I missed Dave. Because now I have to run. Lonely. Well, carrying on. Yes, I'm going to keep looking at the map because, you know, I, I don't know where I'm. And it's night time, so I can't see diddly squat either. Ah, must remember to play game at daytime. So it doesn't matter. That medicinal? Nope. No, that's just wood. I've got lots of wood. Wood is not a thing that oh, this character needs to carry more of. Opposite side of the river, wasn't it? Side of the river. Oh, lovely crockies. I am going to get a sudden case of blue shines. Oh. Guards must have killed it. I mean, it is only a watcher. But they can be horrible because they shoot really nasty. There's a camp just up there, highlighted. Carry on there, but I need to go this way. Excuse me. I think I need a new day. That's it, steady now, and a wink. I have a new Dave. This time with antlers. Well, let's see how long I keep this one for. I can definitely foresee me getting the Mount Plus, Mount Call Plus ability. Ooh, fires. Hey, before you stop, I know there's flyers up there. Of action. I must be closing in on the signal. Oh, there's something here. Right, let's dismount. Oh. Yes, yeah, melee. I'm getting face rate. Right. Naff off. 
Quick, heal. Miss. Right. Oh, oh, he's fine. Ow, oh, ah, oh. Oh. Take a face of action. They're being shelled. That actually hurt. Body weakness fire, aren't you? Burn you can awful great steaming. Once again I try to leap my target. You can be on fire again as well. Yup. Don't have much in the way of medicinal herbs. No! You filthy, horrible thing! I've had enough of you! Well, there's the target I'm after. Now then. Now that I've had my thoroughly had my butt handed to me. Here is a uh, metal flower. So I'll have one of them. Oh, I'll have the wood. Hence you can see 400 odd wood. Oh! -ho. And we can see how rubbish I am at combat. Well you can stay there. Right. Oh my! Ah oh, yes. Right, well, I know it walks past here, but uh, I could only assume that there'd be a point at which you can hop onto it. It might be there. And alas, daytime comes again. Yes, I have also spent the time to get almost all the packs as well. So I can carry an awful lot of stuff. Aha! I found the stealth button again. Did I forget to mention that I haven't played this game in a while? Let's monitor. I tag the tool. No, I can't. Okay. Looks like you initially mount it from the its right, which would be exactly where that thing is. Lovely. Great. I don't like those crocodiles. They are painful. Yeah. That's your mounting point. You jump onto that section just there. Oh. Rock. 
even tree fall. Well, this is going to be an interesting thing. Getting up there. Rock on the loose. This is where you go. Ooh, can I climb it? Oh, you can't. Would be the answer. No. Would be the answer. No. Of course, this isn't one of these games where you can just really climb everything like Breath of the Wild. No, 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 no. That. They have to have special little marking. Like that. And that one. That one. To override it. Shh, go away. You saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing. No. Bad. Bad boy. Keep quiet now. Boy. Go the other way. Good. Mind that tail. Well, if you ever wanted a really close up of these, one of these, here it is. Go back home now. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Well, good job I moved this way. Does he coincide with this thing? He may very well coincide with the uh, tall neck. Maybe not. This should be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck. <laughs> Huzzah! All right. Now I just have to reach its head. Climb up. Oh no, no, no. I don't want to go back down. Jump. Up. Up. Forwards. Jump. Good, good. Right, carry on going up. Up, up, up. Oh, across now. Up, along. It's... Spines. Onto the back of its head. And override it. Quickly get all the data, and then, um... Jump on. Excellent! I now have the map data. Good. Got the data. It's like, get out of dodge before it blows you off. That'll hurt. Okay, right, let's just swim. Everything has been electrocuted within a large area and is not very happy. So, yeah, as you can see, yes, a lot of things in this area are not very happy with me. Hmm. Let us hide and grass. Hmm. We will now hide in the grass. Even if that thing is on half health, I don't care. That thing is evil. Although. It has blaze canisters on the top, and its main body is weak to fire. Hence, why a lot of things are weak to fire. Basically because they use blaze as fuel. But well, there we go! Did it. Yep. Full neck, level 3, overridden. Lovely. What to do next time? Well, overriding facility over here. And there's a campfire nearby. So, let's get to that campfire.
or at least attempt campfire without being murdered by all the crocodiles. Where exactly is this campfire? Ah, let's take this hybrid up. Yes, we're going slightly over on the first episode because, well, I had to do a lot of weirdness, but we'll normally explain how I intend to do this series. I intend to do this series as a form of basically, I play for really long sessions and record large chunks and then edit together an episode. Unlike what I'm doing here, which is basically just playing, recording, and then it's actually meant to be a full episode. I'll do a full save. There we go. Right. Taking over that tall neck will probably be the uh, shot done now. All this with it just happily uh, minding its own business. What'll this one hold? Death, destruction, carnage, chaos, and probably some more death. That's what most days hold on this game. So, we're going to have a look at that facility next time. But as I said, I'll be just doing large recording batches and then just chopping episodes together. So it won't be like normal episodes with a definitive, I do my intro, I do my outro. It's just going to be sort of like, I'm going to tack the intro and outro on the top. New style just for this series. We'll see how it goes. But with that all said and done, thank you for watching. And until next time. This is JC, out.